swear to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Oh, he's lying. Is it on? Wire. <laughs> it yeah, he's on. There, there you go. There you go. Wow. <laughs> Andy. <laughs> See, I'm not the only one who could do that. <laughs> My wife was killed. Um, where were you the night of the murder? I was at Kelly's, and then went to my office, and then when I got home, I found them both dead. As in my wife and baby. Um, what time did you arrive at Kelly's house? Seven. Um, can you explain why um, you were in a bad mood? Well, when I left Kelly's, I was planning on leaving at nine, and that's why I really left my keys in my car. So then about 9.30, Kelly came out and realized I was still there. And then she offered me her wagon to take, which made me even more mad. So then when I got to the office, I didn't leave at 9.30. Got to the office about 9.45. That's when I realized I may have left the payroll papers back in my car. So I went to the office. I was in a hurry trying to find these papers that are due the next day. I couldn't find them. Oh, so you were stressed out about work? Yeah. How well did you get along with your wife? There's ups and downs. <clears throat> As in, we had our arguments, but nothing got too heated. Did you get to spend a lot of time with her? Not really. And why is that? Because I was always working, and then she said she was always working. Um, were you aware that your wife was having an affair? No. I am now. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. She's mentioned him. He was uh, her English professor. Um, do you have any? Did you have any reason to believe that she would be having an affair with him? No. Did she ever mention his name to you? Briefly, and not very much. So you weren't aware that he came to your house quite often while you were at work? <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> what time was it you said you were uh, I got there about 9.45. Um, what time did you leave? Uh, I think it was about 10.30. 10.30, 11, somewhere in there. That's what time you left? Yeah. It was about 10.30 or 11? It was about 11. Um, what time did you arrive at? 945. No, no, oh, I'm sorry. My bad. What time did you arrive at home? Uh, it was 11.30. Um, can you describe to me what you saw when you got home? Uh, I walked in the house, the lights were all off, and then I walked upstairs, so my wife was dead in the bed, and then I ended up getting knocked out, and then found a maid dead, and that's why I'm outside. Oh, please. Um. When you woke up, what did you see? Oh, yeah. That's why I found my wife dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gonna have to make your statements a little more clear. So, can we clarify the order? Can I? Please? Yeah, yeah, can I, I be asking I the question? Okay. Like that, I object. Shut your mouth. What's <laughs> up, it? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Describe to me what you saw when you first got home. Something wasn't right. That lights were all off, and then all of a sudden, someone came out, knocked me out, and then when I woke up, so I found my wife dead. I went to the bathroom, threw it up, and then found the maid dead. <laughs> and then that's where I'm outside, please. All right. Um, so what did you do after you called the police? I just sat on the porch. I couldn't bear to go in the house. And why is that? My wife was dead, and the maid was dead. Okay, why could you not bear to see them dead then? Well, because I've known them for a very long time and just seeing them dead really hurt me.
I've known that from the start. <laughs> your wife was working all the time, that's why you never saw her or anything. She didn't have a job though, so clearly you all didn't communicate very well. Objection. <laughs> Objection. She didn't say that. She didn't have a job, but she was always gone. But everybody else says you have this loving relationship, you would know that your wife didn't have a job, right? Well, see me, she was cheating on me, and they see had a job, there's an alibi. There you go. <laughs> what? What? Yeah, I just said that. <laughs> said she was always working, but obviously she was having an affair. When you got home, you said something wasn't right. What did you suspect? Really, just something wasn't right. It's gut feeling. Nothing was on. The lights were all off, and usually at least something's on. You know, a light or TV or radio or something. Can anyone vouch for you showing up at work and leaving? Uh, the student see me arrive, but then he didn't see me. I never seen him. I was just in a bad mood. Feel like talking because of the payroll papers. Alright, guys, we have just a few minutes, so I'll go ahead and give you the last few minutes of class to 